What's up, guys? Welcome back to the One Year Bible Reading. Today's reading is for November 10th. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord God, for another opportunity, Lord, to draw closer to you, to hear you speak to us, Lord, to know what you require of us. May we apply your word to our daily lives. May we give you all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 21, verse 1, through chapter 22, verse 31. And the word of the Lord came to me, Ezekiel, saying, Son of man, set your face toward Jerusalem, preach against the holy places, and prophesy against the land of Israel, and say to the land of Israel, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I am against you, and I will draw my sword out of its sheath and cut off both righteous and wicked from you. Because I will cut off both righteous and wicked from you, therefore my sword shall go out of its sheath against all flesh from south to north, that all flesh may know that I, the Lord, have drawn my sword out of its sheath. It shall not return any more. Sigh, therefore, son of man, with a breaking heart, and sigh with bitterness before their eyes. And it shall be, when, I, when they say to you, Why are you sighing? That you shall answer. Because of the news, when it comes, every heart will melt, all hands will be feeble, every spirit will faint, and all knees will be weak as water. Behold, it is coming and shall be brought to pass, says the Lord God. Again, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus says the Lord, Say, A sword, a sword is sharpened and also polished, sharpened to make a dreadful slaughter, polished to flash like lightning. Should we then make mirth? It despises the scepter of my son, as it does all wood, and he has given it to be polished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is polished to be given into the hand of the slayer. Cry and wail, son of man, for it will be against my people, against all the princes of Israel. Terrors, including the sword, will be against my people. Therefore strike your thigh. Because it is a testing. And what if the sword despises even the scepter? The scepter shall be no more says the Lord God. You, therefore, son of man, prophesy and strike your hands together. The third time let the sword do double damage. It is the sword that slays. The sword that slays the great men that enters their private chambers. I have set the point of the sword against all their gates, that the heart may melt and many may stumble. Ah, it is made bright. It is grasped for slaughter. Swords at the ready. Thrust right. Set your blade. Thrust left. Wherever your edge is ordered. I also will beat my fist together. And I will cause my fury to rest. I the Lord have spoken. The word of the Lord came to me again saying. And son of man. Appoint for yourself two ways for the sword of the king of Babylon to go. Both of them shall go from the same land. Make a sign. Put it at the head of the road to the city. Appoint a road for the sword to go to Rabbah of the Ammonites and to Judah and to fortified Jerusalem. For the king of Babylon stands at the parting of the road, at the fork of the two roads, to use divination. He shakes the arrows, he consults the images, he looks at the liver. In the right hand is the divination for Jerusalem, to set up battering rams to call for a slaughter, to lift the voice with shouting, to set battering rams against the gates, to heap up a siege mound, and to build a wall. And it will be to them like a false divination in the eyes of those who have sworn oaths with them. But he will bring their iniquity to remembrance, that they may be taken. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, 
Because you have made your iniquity to be remembered, and that your transgressions are uncovered, so that in all your doings your sins appear, because you have come to remembrance, you shall be taken in hand. Now to you, O profane, wicked prince of Israel, whose day has come, whose iniquity shall end, thus says the Lord God. Remove the turban and take off the crown. Nothing shall remain the same. Exalt the humble and humble the exalted. Overthrown, overthrown, I will make it overthrown. It shall be no longer until he comes whose right it is, and I will give it to him. And you, son of man, prophesy and say, Thus says the Lord God concerning the Ammonites and concerning their reproach, and say, A sword, a sword is drawn, polished for slaughter, for consuming, for flashing. While they see false visions for you, while they divine a lie to you, to bring you on the necks of the wicked, the slain, whose day has come, whose iniquity shall end. Return it to its sheath. I will judge you in the place where you were created, in the land of your nativity. I will pour out my indignation on you. I will blow against you with the fire of my wrath and deliver you into the hands of brutal men who are skillful to destroy. You shall be fuel for the fire. Your blood shall be in the midst of the land. You shall not be remembered, for I, the Lord, have spoken. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Now, son of man, will you judge? Will you judge the bloody city? Yes, show her all her abominations. Then say, Thus says the Lord God, The city sheds blood in her own midst, that her time may come, and she makes idols within herself to defile herself. You have become guilty by the blood which you have shed, and have defiled yourself with the idols which you have made. You have caused your days to draw near, and have come to the end of your years. Therefore I have made you a reproach to the nations, and a mockery to all countries. Those near and those far from you will mock you as infamous and full of tumult. Look, the princes of Israel, each one has used his power to shed blood in you. In you they have made light of father and mother. In your midst they have oppressed the stranger. In you they have mistreated the fatherless and the widow. You have despised my holy things and profaned my Sabbaths. In you are men who slander to cause bloodshed. In you are those who eat on the mountains. In your midst they commit lewdness. In you men uncover their father's nakedness. In you they violate women who are set apart during their impurity. One commits abomination with his neighbor's wife. Another lewdly defiles his daughter-in-law. And another in you violates his sister, his father's daughter. In you they take bribes to shed blood. You take ursery and increase. You have made a profit from your neighbors by exhortation, and have forgotten me, says the Lord God. Behold, therefore, I beat my fists at the dishonest profit which you have made, and at the bloodshed which has been in your midst. Can your heart endure? Or can your hands remain strong in the days when I shall deal with you? I, the Lord, have spoken and will do it. I will scatter you among the nations, disperse you throughout the countries, and remove your filthiness completely from you. You shall defile yourselves in the sight of the nations. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, the house of Israel has become dross to me. They are all bronze, tin, iron, and lead in the midst of a furnace. They have become dross from silver. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Because you have all become dross, therefore, behold, 
I will gather you into the midst of Jerusalem. As men gather silver, bronze, iron, lead, and tin into the midst of a furnace, to blow fire on it, to melt it. So I will gather you in my anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. Yes, I will gather you and blow on you with the fire of my wrath, and you shall be melted in its midst. As silver is melted in the midst of a furnace, so shall you be melted in its midst. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have poured out my fury on you. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, say to her, You are a land that is not cleansed or rained on in the day of indignation. The conspiracy of her prophets and her midst is like a roaring lion tearing the prey. They have devoured people. They have taken treasure and precious things. They have made many widows in her midst. Her priests have violated my law and profaned my holy things. They have not distinguished between the holy and unholy, nor have they made know the difference between the unclean and the clean. And they have hidden their eyes from my Sabbaths, so that I am profaned among them. Her princes in her midst are like wolves tearing the prey, to shed blood, to destroy people and to get dishonest gain. Her prophets plastered them with untempered mortar, seeing the false visions and divining lies for them, saying, Thus says the Lord God, When the Lord had not spoken, the people of the land have used oppressions, committed robbery, and mistreated the poor and needy, and they wrongfully oppress the stranger. So I sought for a man among them who would make a wall and stand in the gap before me on behalf of the land, that I should not destroy it. But I found no one. Therefore, I have poured out my indignation on them. I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath, and I have recompensed their deeds on their own heads. Says the Lord God. The Book of Proverbs, Chapter 10, Verses 1 Through 18. For the law, having a shadow of the good things to come, and not the very image of the things, can never, with these same sacrifices, which they offer continually year by year, make those who approach perfect. For then, would they not have ceased to be offered? For the worshippers, once purified, would have had no more consciousness of sins. But in those sacrifices, there is a reminder of sins every year. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats could take away sins. Therefore, when he came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you have prepared for me. In burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin, you had no pleasure. Then I said, Behold, I have come, and the volume of the book it is written of me, to do your will, O God. Previously saying, Sacrifice and offering, burnt offerings and offerings for sin you did not desire, nor had pleasure in them, which are offered according to the law. Then he said, Behold, I have come to do your will, O God. He takes away the first, that he may be established the second, so that he may establish the second. By that will, we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. And every priest stands ministering daily and offering repeatedly the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But this man after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down at the right hand of God. From that time, waiting till his enemies are made his footstool. For by one offering, 
he has perfected forever those who are being sanctified. But the Holy Spirit also witnesses to us, for after he had said before, This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts, and in their minds I will write them. Then he adds, Their sins and their lawless deeds I will remember no more. Now where there is remission of these, there is no longer an offering for sin. The book of Psalm, chapter 108, verses 1 through 13. A song, a psalm of David. O God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and give praise even with my glory. Awake, lute and harp. I will awaken the dawn. I will praise you, O Lord, among the peoples. And I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your mercy is great above the heavens, and your truth reaches to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and your glory above all the earth, that your beloved may be delivered. Save with your right hand, and hear me. God has spoken in his holiness. I will rejoice, I will divide Shechem, and measure out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine, Manasseh is mine, Ephraim also is the helmet for my head. Judah is my lawgiver, Moab is my washpot, over Edom I will cast my shoe, over Philistia I will triumph. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me to Edom? Is it not you, O God, who cast us off? And you, O God, who did not go out with our armies? Give us help from trouble, for the help of man is useless. Through God we will do it valiantly. For it is he who shall tread down our enemies. The book of Proverbs, chapter 27, verse 12. A prudent man foresees evil and hides himself. The simple pass on and are punished. All right, guys. Hope you have a great day. Hope to see you tomorrow. And may God bless you all. Peace.